No, honestly, even when a woman showed up, they're not much heavier than her picks. I did excuse myself to the bathroom and never went back to the dinner table. Okay, my villains of the village. What is getting your boy Bill? And today, I have something extremely interesting for you. So, if you've seen my last video, you've probably seen an interesting tab I had up on the uh, top of the screen. And it's, it said geek dating, okay? And I decided this bright idea. As a geek, a nerd, a weeb, if you will, a blurred, if you even, all right? I want to go ahead and check this out. So, it's, it was a YouTube uh, ad that I got. <laughs> and I always it's either I get these type of YouTube ads or I get the thick, stupid, thick anime girl type of YouTube ads, okay? And I will have a few images up on the screen for all of you fucking Kuma brain people, all right? But, but um, without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this website, shall we? Okay, we're back. So, it's called get.dateplayer2.com slash geekdates, all right? Don't know anything about this website. I just got an ad for it, and I thought this would be hilarious to watch a video for because I'm getting tired of YouTube giving me all these freaky ass ads. All right. I have to at least go ahead and check this one out. And I can, at least for the anime ads, right? I can understand that because I click on anime ads because I like to download games. Like I downloaded the SAO game off of that. I downloaded the Konosuba game off of it. I also downloaded Wither and Waves, the mobile, uh, the mobile version off of that as well. I already had the PC version, but I forgot to download it on mobile. So I understand that would be those ads. I don't click on the super freaking kuma brain ones all right i'm i'm not i'm not like that hold on let me bring this up real quick yeah i'm not like that but uh, i've never clicked on a dating ad before so i don't want to see what this is about all right i'm like geek dating seems pretty interesting so let's go ahead and get into it i'm yapping too much i'm sorry <laughs> so date player two calling geeks and nerds hold on let me get my popcorn back out because we're gonna be here for a while geek dating made it easy he specialized in connecting single geeks, nerds, and gamers who share the same passions. It's time to meet like-minded individuals and find your final fantasy. That's Loki a bar. Loki a bar. Like-minded individuals and find your final fantasy. Is Final Fantasy the game series? Game for nerds, right? Let's <laughs> get it. Only nerds game? It's not like a 2024 anymore. Only nerds game. Come on, dude. Verify profiles, real connections. All profiles go through our very strict verification process, so only genuine members can date here. On the bright side, at least at least it has like a proper HTTPS. All right, it's not just some BS website. It's a real thing, so I gotta give them credit for that. Okay, a thriving nerd community. Insert coin. Press start to begin your quest for love. This is an active community. All who who love all types of fandoms, games, and cosplay. Willing to join locally and across the globe. So, they even acknowledge that a lot of people of our kind do a lot of online dating because, well, you typically tend to find people that's into your things not very close by, unless you live in a big city like I do, where I've met a lot of people that cosplay, like anime, etc. All right, but they also come with downsides. And that can be said for anybody that you're looking at, that you're looking into with similar interests. Level up your love life fast. Get to know the person behind the avatar. Single geeks and gamers are waiting to chat and weave out together. Weave out together. They're catching my interest now. Your online dating adventure starts today. See who's online now. They even broadcasting it, or not broadcasting it, but displaying it as an online dating platform. It seems interesting. Start mission. Is your love life lagging? Okay, we don't gotta make everything a game in reference, okay? I'm sorry, it's kind of making me cringe now. Is your love life lagging? Raid, oh my they made another one right after it, bro. Are you serious? Do you love life lagging? Raid our thriving community of geeks looking to find love. Connect with like-minded singles looking to co-op and explore all the possibilities for alternate universe of fun, chat, and romance. All right. So let's see what the three steps are. Is there more than three steps or are there more? Step four. All right. Well, I don't know. I could already tell my interest in step four. But let's go ahead and go with step one. Create your avatar. It's easy to become a member. Create your account in minutes by telling us about you and what you're looking for. Step two, meet geeks near you. Once you set up your preferences, you'll instantly see like-minded singles to, to match and connect with. Step three, explore the network. Your live activity feed is the vibrant hub of the latest member content. Geek out over user photos, blogs, and articles. And then you have step four, which I can already tell I'm not gonna be interested in. Level up to VIP. Access premium features especially created to boost your all-out experience by choosing VIP membership whenever you want. All right. So we have these two people right here that look like they're having a great time. The date player two experience. Our interactive features are built to help you make a genuine connection with gamers, geeks, and cosplayers who want to share your story and aid you in your journey to the boss level of love. 
<laughs> uh, all right how much does it cost that's a real question day player two is completely free to join message to join message members view the profiles and photos and arrange to meet up if you want completely unrestricted communications all is removed and we have to upgrade to become a vip member this is completely optional however you do not need to be a vip member to be a part of our community will you spam my inbox will you spam my inbox no our email systems are sender sender score certified we only use your email to notify you of any activity on your profile but you can always opt out what's on the site once you join for free you will have access to a bustling vibrant community of people looking to chat make friends casual fun and more you can get to know other members by instant messaging instant messaging and commenting on statuses our members also have some great blogs to help you get to know them better okay well i feel like i bs long enough time to join in right okay Let's go, let's go ahead and do this. So, of course, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just make my account off of the screen. So that way I don't got to worry about censoring my information. So I'll be back in about two, three minutes. Okay, I decided to come back because I've seen something interesting popping up. And that's which type of games will you play together? Sorry, I was eating popcorn also when it was gone, <laughs> while you guys were gone. So I decided to click on combat shooter. Not really a big puzzle or strategy guy. Simulations are not my thing. Stealth shooter, I can play those. Survival horror, I play DVD sometimes. Uh, not as much as I used to because that game is trash. But then we have action adventure, fighting. I play a little bit of Tekken every here and there. PS3, I mean, I'm down to play some PS3 games. The Last of Us is amazing, of course. Nintendo Wii, I have one. Nintendo Switch, I used to have one, not anymore. Platforming, I can play a platformer every here and there. It's not my biggest, you know, genre, but it's fine. PS5, don't have one at the moment. Used to have one. I'm going to have to get another one back retro consoles don't know what we're considering retro if it's like ps2 or before or ps1 or before probably not i play ps2 like ps2 games though real-time shooters or that real-time strategy i'm assuming it's real-time strategy xbox 360 i mean i clicked on ps3 but i'll click xbox 360 as well xbox one gotta pass i'm not really an xbox guy mmo mmorpg i play toontown don't know if we're gonna count toontown but, you know, I'll put it on there just because. All right. Which relationships are you into? Or are you open to? Well, we can do... You know what? We'll go ahead and do open to anything. Why not? Show me people between... Well, we'll go between 18 and 35. To be honest, my preference would be 21 to 35. But I would need to just see the full website and all this glory. And I don't want to put people that's too old... Because I feel like at that point you're gonna be inviting bots. So create your username. Billy. There's no way anybody takes Billy on here. Profile headline. Keep everyone informed and safe. Please note that you won't be able to complete your profile view button bash or include any contact details. Hey, um, Billy. Just scrolling along to see what this app is about. Well, maybe it's not an app. Let's go down to site more about you um it's a we looking to find people to watch anime and cosplay with gaming friends would be cool i'm just trying to put down the most basic generic thing ever because i don't really care <laughs> i don't want to scroll through the site i don't really care about what's going on here okay i gotta get at least, at least one photo so i'll be right back okay we're back so i had to get one picture off my phone and then i forgot i had to send a picture on my on my uh, PC, so let's go ahead and keep on going. Yeah, I don't care about getting messages. One more step, turn to service. Yeah, you can have my firstborn, I don't care. Upgrade now to start your VIP experience. I haven't even used the damn app yet. Why are you already telling me to upgrade? Rose, 31 in Austin, Texas. Pansy, 27. Message me. I can already tell you right now, these gotta be bots. Like these Gojo lover. All right, this might not be a bot actually. <laughs> that might not be a bot. <laughs> How do you react when you realize your day's going badly? Hey, look, I'm more of a be honest type of dude. I just let him up like a note. Like, hey, this shit ain't it. No, honestly, even when a woman showed up, showed up much heavier than her pics, I did excuse myself to the bathroom and never went back to the dinner table. <sighs> you should know that. <laughs> You should know before the date. I didn't confirm that you fit each other's spec, so to speak. All right, well, that's such a nerdy way to put it, but he ain't wrong, okay? Raspberry. All right, you know what? On second thought, maybe I shouldn't show the pictures of all these people. 
I feel like that's probably not a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through the app for a little bit and I'm just going to let you guys know what I think about it. Okay, so update. I was scrolling through this freaking site for about a good 10 minutes and all I found besides one person who was 24 were people 33 and older. <laughs> now, I it's not a problem if you're in your 30s, you're looking for someone to date or be friends with or anything like that. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I feel like if you're going to have a search engine that has 18 to 35, well, I'm only finding people in their 30s. I'm 24. I'm about to turn 25 in a few months, but I'm only 24. I don't mind an older woman, by the way. I just feel like it might be a little bit crazy for an older woman to see a 24-year-old 24 24-year-old, and they're going to be like, ah, maybe a little bit too young for me, okay? So I don't know if, I don't know if it's because there's not enough younger women on the site. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only young male. Maybe I'm the only male on the damn site. I don't know. But I'm not finding anybody around my age. Secondly, I uploaded a picture, or two pictures. Only one of them got approved. The other one is still pending. It's been a little bit longer than, it, than I thought it would be, but maybe they have actual humans looking over the picture and not AI. I don't know. Um, thirdly, there's way too many damn questions. I don't need you to ask all these damn questions. Oh, your sexuality, your education, your, your, how much you make, um, what type of job you have, um, gender expression, all that stuff. I mean, all that, you know, that's all cool, but I'm not trying to answer 20 questions. I'm there gonna be playing 21 questions on this damn website, okay? Not interested. All right, and then fourth, it's just not that good. Nobody talks on this app. I'm looking at, besides those two comments you've seen that we read earlier, nobody talks on here, okay? So completely, completely trash. I would not recommend this to anybody. Now, <laughs> there's another site that I got linked to right after this. If you guys wanna see me uh, make a video on that, please let me know. <laughs> it's called Cosplay Date. Get your geek on and your freak on, okay? And uh, I can definitely scroll through this one if you would like. But you need to let me know because I ain't got to go out of my way to do this for free, okay? So once again, let me know. And uh, if you guys like this video, once again, also let me know about that by leaving a like and subscribing. It's been your boy, Phil. I hope, I hope nobody goes on this website. This is absolutely awful. And I will see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Sprite into some purple coat that motherfucking magic When I pull up on the ops, I make those bitches turn to static I get head inside my Lambo, make me swerve into some traffic My bitch holding my hand, I'm trying to show off my new paddock Twice.